Okay, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Gadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who have taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Shai. And honors and salutations to the elect Akim. Doing these works in sincerity and in truth. All right, so um, pretty much, man, I'm entitled this uh, you know, I don't even know yet, man, but pretty much I'm gonna get into uh suffering, you know, because we definitely have to have a sort of a suffering in our lives. Now I'm not saying go out, do something stupid, so you could say you're suffering. It could just be something as simple as fasting. You know, because if you don't bring suffering in your life, the Lord will bring it in for you. So why not just, you know, choose fasting as as a form of uh, suffering, man, because that is a form of suffering. So. This is Second Timothy, chapter two, and I'll start at verse three, it says thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. No man that worth. Entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. See? So we're chosen to be soldiers of Yahweh Shai. Faith based soldiers. Okay? Not wearing cargo pants with boots and then going out here performing a cadence. You know, setting up pipe bombs, which that was a, a false flag attack. No, not that kind of soldier. You know, face paint in the middle of the woods. Not that it's not talking about that type of soldier, man. It's talking about a soldier having patience, you know, waiting upon our savior. All right, not selling out and so forth, man. So again, man, we, we are to be uh, soldiers. So, all right, and that's another thing, man. You know, a soldier knows how to uh, uh, go through sufferings with, uh, uh, you know, better than the next man, I'll say. All right. So, you know, we can choose fasting as that form of uh, suffering because at the end of the day, suffering is suffering, man. So if we acquaint ourselves with suffering and overcome it. All right. Begin to do it with no problem. Then we'll have more of a smooth transition into Jacob's trouble where that's going to be full of suffering because life is going to change. All right. It's going to change temporarily and then it's going to change again for the better when we in the kingdom. So, again, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right. And when you go into hardness, the Greek word here. All right. So we have to endure it. All right. Fast more and endure it. Go through it. Let it become no problem to you. You know? So the Greek word for suffer, I don't got the guy to say the 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 the, the, how, the pronunciation, but it means uh to suffer, endure evils, hardships, or troubles. And not eating is definitely a hardship. So if we can endure that, we'll be able to endure other uh, sufferings as well, man. You know, it's like it's like a muscle that you got to work out. All right. If a guy never goes through any suffering ever and he has nothing but good things going on. Now, when that comes, that's why he ends up killing himself. And so he, he don't even know how to act. You know, so that's why we got to build up that muscle of uh, suffering, man, because this this place ain't our rest. Right, so let me get um, let me jump over also to the apocrypha. All right, um, and uh, second edges chapter ten, verse thirty three, says, and he said unto me, stand up manfully, and I will advise thee, because that's what helps you become more of a man. You know, when you can endure hardness as a good soldier. That's what makes you, you know, uh, uh, more of a man. Okay. 
That's what makes you more of a soldier. All right, when you can go through these things manfully, you know, and endure it without complaining. All right. And you just go through it, man, with faith. That's what makes you more uh, manfully. OK. And then when you do that, it says, and he said unto me, stand up manfully and I will advise thee. So now we can get more uh, um, advice. All right. We can be advised more or guided more. By Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You see that? So let me also jump over to because yeah, this is not our rest. Well, let me grab that real quick. Uh definitely gotta watch the apostle uh recall. So I was gonna make this short anyway. So uh oh yeah, but yeah, Micah chapter two, verse ten. Yeah, so we got to uh, acquaint ourselves with suffering, man. You know, and we can do it through fasting. This is Micah 2 and 10. Because if we're here thinking shit is sweet, then the Lord is going to bring some type of suffering to us. So I'd rather just take it upon myself, you know, before I have to get some chastisement, some suffering from the Lord. <laughs> you know, so this is Micah. That, and that's wisdom. This is Micah chapter 2 verse 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. See? So this ain't a place for us to kick back and relax and get settled on our leaves. No, we have to be have some type of suffering in our lives, man. Because this is hell. And that's why scriptures even say, if you suffer with Hamashiach, then you will be joint ears with Yahweh Shai. So there has to be some type of suffering within our lives. Why? Because this is not our rest. Okay? So it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted... It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. So and us going through them sufferings shows our allegiance to Yahweh Shai. Shows him showing him that we don't want this place to be our rest. Showing him that we're not happy here, man. You know, and that we, we want to uh, be in the kingdom. You know, so that's why also it's good to uh, uh, suffer in that aspect, man. So I'm going to end it off with this. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. Chapter uh, 18, verses uh, 30. So it says, uh, Go not after thy lust, but refrain thyself from thine appetites. Yeah. And when you do that, you're getting more control over yourself. Really, it's, 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 it's more suffering. You know, when you don't go after your lust and you refrain yourself from those from those appetites, and you and you craving that appetite very bad, but you're refraining yourself. That's a form of suffering, man. You know, and when and when you keep doing that, now you're gaining and you're building more self control, more discipline. And does the soldier not? Is it not very needful for a soldier to be disciplined? A soldier has to be absolutely disciplined, man. So that's why it's, uh, some form of suffering. Is, is very important. You know. Verse 31. If thou givest thy soul. If thou givest thy soul the desires. That please her. She will make thee a laughing stock to thy enemies. That malign thee. See. So if, if we don't go through different sufferings man. And we continue to just. Think shit is sweet here. Alright. That's how we what. That's how we get comfortable. And then. When you get comfortable. That's how you get caught slipping. You know, you're not on your watch anymore. All right. You're not growing. You're not getting stronger. And then that's how you get caught slipping. And then what happens when you get caught slipping? It says she would make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies that malign thee. And, you know, you got a lot of wicked niggas out here, a lot of two thirds. When they uh, uh, uh pretty much murder their enemies because their enemies got what? They got caught slipping. Then they go to the booth and, and make a song about it. That's them laughing. That's them, you know, uh, making a laughing stock out of their enemies, man. You know, just to put it in, in terms like that. So ultimately, man, you know, ultimately when we continue to suffer, that's that's making us not stay comfortable in this place. All right. Excuse the uh, background noise if you if you can, if it does pick it up, man. You know, Babaka Shah. But uh, con man, so yeah, that's why we can't be giving our soul 
all the desires that it wants. Our soul has to have some sort of suffering so that we can uh, uh, continue or to, to stay in the spirit, man, and not get too comfortable to where we fall back and this place becomes our rest. And then it makes us catch us, uh, catches us slipping and then makes us uh, 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 pretty much get chastised if we have the elect or destroyed if we are two third, you know. So, you know, that's pretty much it. All right. It's a quick lesson. Learn. We have to learn to suffer more and it'll build up discipline. It'll build up self-control. It'll build up more willpower, which will ultimately help us be better soldiers for Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, so low one is edifying, all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the elect.